And then um, Dirk have a question that he emailed in. He said, um, how can it be that companies that are, for example, trading cheap on a QI value basis are not cheap based on, um, based on value composite one? And then also if you take, uh, take ERP-5, yeah, let's just take ERP-5, that's another um, valuation measure. We'll just, uh, I'll just add a column in with the ERP-5 ratio. Oh, where is it here? How do you get rid of this thing? Let me just see if I can, I don't know how, I, I always sort it, but I never unsort it by country. Anyway, let's just leave it like that. So let's say we've got uh, QI value. We've got ERP5. These are different, different composite value indicators, just in case you're wondering. And now we've got to find uh, where's, value, value, where's value composite one. Let's be here, there, value composite two. Let's just remove these. And if you say, for example, let's look at at QI value, here's a three. It's even cheaper based on uh, value composite two and the ERP five rank is not all that cheap. Here's a really big example. Um, QI value is four, value composite two is not that it, not that cheap, and with ERP five, the company is completely uninteresting. It's uh, at position nineteen thousand one hundred and fifty five. And what causes these differences is the question that Frank asked, um, or rather that Dirk asked. And uh, the simple reason is that these value in, your composite indicators use different your valuation metrics. For example, the difference between value composite two and QI value is QI value uses that liquidity ratio, looks for companies with low liquidity. And value composite two includes price to book. So if a company is not cheap in terms of price to book, which this is a, um, this is a gaming company, I think based in Sing Hong Kong, not sure. But there you can see it's cheap based on QI value, but because it's probably not expen not cheap in terms of price to book, it's value composite two indicators a lot higher than what its value composite one indicator is. And ERP-5 rank is even yeah, different to that. ERP-5, let me just look, I made a summary here. They've got ERP-5 consists of price to book, earnings yield, return on investment capital, and five-year average return on investment capital. So you see this, this two, two quality ratios included there. And that's probably why, um, it doesn't rank well in terms of ERP-5 because value composite two and QI value don't have those, um, those ratios. 